How's it? Tonight I'm uh, just thought I'll show you something a little bit interesting about the bearings when you're putting an engine together. Yeah, so maybe somebody would uh, enjoy it on the different sizes of different makes of bearings. Okie dokie. So first of all, we've got uh, uh, Toyo bearing. So this is a standard Toyota bearing that you find. Uh, this is an aftermarket bearing. So let's first have a look at, well, let me show you what I've done. This is a little micrometer that I've, uh, it's very difficult to measure a bearing. So I weld the two little ball bearings on there. And um, yeah, so the first things first to measure the um, inside of the bearing. All right. So give you an interesting reading. What have we got on this? So this is a 1.5 bearing. As you can see, um, this micrometer zeroed out on 12.5. So we are basically sitting at 14. Uh, 14 dead. So that is a 1.5 bearing on the dot. And now we're going to measure on the side. So let's have a look what it gives us on the side. Let's clamp this bearing in there. Whoops. Uh, let's try again. Difficult with one hand holding the camera. I'm coming. All right, let's have a look there. So there you can see this bearing is four uh, hundredths smaller. All right, on the edge. Very interesting. So that means you've got more oil clearance on the sides. So let's have a look at this quickly. This bearing, same, similar. get that going alrighty so once again when we clamp this bearing you can see uh, it's 100 a little bit bigger so 151 all right in the middle and you go to the side we clamp it on 150 and a little bit over so this bearing is basically the same um, in the middle and on the sides so you'll have the same clearance both sides so in a racing application this bearing would be better if you have one perfectly oval conrod let's have a look at the conrods quick so if the conrod is machined and you put the dial gauge in it to check uh, your size uh, sometimes if you have it machined um, what they could do is put little shims in if the machine shop is a high profile they put little shims in then they hone it for you and once you clamp it back you will have a little bit more well clearance on the sides but you don't find that very often that's why the bearings have got extra oil clearance for you uh, to do that but a lot of times when you do have a, a, a conrod machined, it is a little bit wider on the sides than on the uh, torque or tension surface. So then it is better to go for a bearing that is straight and all the way around, but you will still have the clearance once it clamped down and torqued down. Cool, hope you guys found that interesting.